What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Wanted to show y'all something that I'm really excited about. The lighting is absolutely awful, but we have a brand new addition to the Enthusiast portfolio and that is 18 by 24 stretch canvases on an inch and a half frame. These things are absolutely awesome, super high quality and your excitement for them is great. I haven't really even said anything. I posted about it once on the Enthusiast Apparel Instagram and all the messages that we've been receiving have been phenomenal. Really pumped about expanding this entire line as well, just to change it up a little bit from the apparel and I'm a huge fan of canvases. I keep them in my office. And while well, I'm gonna start kind of hanging them everywhere else around my house too, because I feel like they're pretty classy decor. And speaking of that canvas right there, could be your ticket to taking home the OG LML Duramax. At this point, it's finally settled in that one of you will be taking this truck home around the middle of September. And I couldn't be any more excited to find out who that person is. Getting entered to win this truck's as easy as visiting enthusiasts, grabbing yourself anything on the site, and your entries get automatically submitted. Short, simple, and to the point, and just the We've given away three amazing trucks to three amazing people. Number four is really somewhat earth shattering. And although they're going wicked fast, these limited patch hats are available, but limited quantities. So grab them while you can before they're gone forever. But that's not what we're doing today. With all this new 2020 action, it's almost like we forgot about old Long Bed Larry. So Long Bed Larry has been somewhat off of the radar, being that the new 2020 HD has been somewhat of the focal point here last week. But come on, guys, we can't forget about Grandpa Larry. But in all reality, Long Bed Larry is actually getting a modification that is completely new for me and for basically this channel in general. Being that the 2020 was kind of a last minute thing with availability and trying to find a truck that I could actually, you know, basically put my name on, it kind of impacted the plan. So the guys over at Lime Ridge actually came through and delivered it out to my good buddy rick who's actually going to be wrapping this truck so we're going with a color that will go undisclosed in this video i'm gonna have to go black and white over the footage i'm sorry guys because i don't want to necessarily ruin the surprise quite yet but today is going to be a working session just to basically help my buddy Rick out in laying out some of the areas that require more than two hands, if you will. At times, wrapping these large body panels on the sides of vehicles can be challenging. And I wanted to get over there to film some content with all of you guys. So we're on our way right now and we are cruising like butter in this new truck. This thing is unbelievably smooth. Oh my God, I'm just loving it so much. Let's see here. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's keep that off right now. <laughs> yeah, so like BPM. BPM's good, it wakes me up in the morning. So does, uh, so does coffee. I know it's basic at Starbucks, but it was the only thing that was on my way. So you can hate on me, but caffeine's caffeine. Let's see here. We are, uh, uh. Uh, all right, so this is uh, kind of average around town, 15.3 miles to the gallon. When we were driving home from St. Louis on a road trip back home after we bought this truck, we were at like 21.9 miles to the gallon, which is uh, pretty insane. We are in 10th gear right now, I believe. We're cruising at like 1,500 RPMs. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to rock out. I'll see y'all over there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. We are now in the four digits on the 2020. We just crossed a thousand miles on our road trip over to see Long Bed Larry, who's right in front of me right now. And I'm going to have to wave some black over the screen because I cannot show y'all yet or ruin the surprise of what this new color is going to be. But I can damn near assure you guys that y'all are gonna absolutely love what is in store. And uh, if you can't tell, I got that caffeine in my system circulating through me now. I feel way better. Oh my God. God, this is gonna look so sick. I can't wait to show you guys. Damn. All right, guys, so that's Rick. We are at Rick's house right now. We got the full, well, somewhat white truck lineup. We have like a semi-chameleon color at the moment. We've got the 2020 and we've got Rick's F-150. That thing's set up so clean, I absolutely love it. And as you can see, we've got, well, about the front third of Long Bed Larry wrapped up. And unfortunately, you guys can't see the color right now. I know I mentioned that a few times. And that sick little go-kart over here. But we are actually still in the, quote, prep process of getting Long Bed Larry ready for his facelift. Thus far, the few changes that you can see are the fender flares have been removed, the front grille is off, the headlights and the lower turn signals are off, the tail lights have been removed as well. And this is just a great look for you guys at the condition of Long Bed Larry. A lot of y'all are saying, oh, well, Jack, there's probably rust up under the fender flares because it's a collection point for residue and particulate and all that kind of stuff. Well, here you go, guys. Just a nice little look for you to see both the passenger side and the driver side condition of the bed on this truck. It's 
just absolutely immaculate. And then while Rick's up here just putting finishing touches on the front fender, you can see everything is solid. There's no bumps or bruises or anything like that up underneath. This truck is in absolutely flawless condition for being a 2003. So what's necessary next is we actually have to go ahead and pull back off the brand new Boost Auto Parts mirrors that we put on not too long ago. And we're going to have to remove the bezels for the door handles so we can really tuck in and wrap around some of the edges to make this 100% legit. Now we got all of the dents and dings out along with Larry as well. I did not film that, but some of you guys might recall that there was a little crease dent right here. We had my buddy Jay come out and actually remove all of that because we did not want to lay wrap on any body panels that had dents or damage as that would show right through as well. You follow the body lines of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and get to work on this thing and continue this transformation. Guys, I cannot wait to debut this. Probably not in today's video, unfortunately, but we should be able to get this thing completed here throughout the rest of this week and we'll probably show it to y'all next week so let's get the process started <laughs> Guys, in that time, we had gotten done this whole door side, so now we have a about call it half of the driver's side of the truck done. Uh, we're using Avery vinyl, um, which is said to be kind of the best product that one could buy, not only from an installer's perspective, but also a maintenance and longevity perspective. Uh, these vinyl wraps have really come a long way. It's super impressive to see them all lay on too. And watching Rick actually apply this is somewhat kind of art in a way because of how you kind of have to manipulate different things around the build. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep working on this before I have to roll out throughout the day. But you can see why having extra hands can be really helpful, especially with laying out those massive sheets. But once this is all done, we have a really special color, one that we've never had on any one of our builds that will be complementing this kind of new wrap color, the wheels, and then some other really cool stuff that I can't quite disclose yet, as I do want y'all to look forward to what's coming because a little bit out of my comfort zone, especially from a lighting perspective that we're gonna be doing, but I think you guys are gonna be really pleased. So we're gonna get back to work for just a little bit, and then we're gonna head on out because we got some we got some other stuff that we gotta get done today. Ah, oh, it's so quiet. Have a good one, dude. I can't wait to see when it's done. Well, some might say this guy likes white trucks and I'd have to agree. But others might say that this guy is also pretty willing to step out of his white truck comfort zone. And I'd also have to agree. And that is because we are wrapping one of the white trucks covering up the white with another color that I know you guys are excited about. So drop a comment below right now as to what your guesses are about the color of Long Bed Larry. He is getting a really fresh refresh, super fresh refresh, really fresh refresh, the freshest of refreshes. You guys get the point. I'm really excited about it. and want to know what y'all are thinking. Plus, well, look at all these white trucks. Post Malone, I know, I know. Wait, I Iverson, yeah, with, not with Bentleys though, with, with Chevys, with, with Duramaxes, with GMCs now, I gotta get used to saying that. Look at all these things right now, oh my God. And they all have really fresh wheels, except for, and they're kind of fresh wheels. 34 is stock, kind of crazy. And that truck makes this truck look extremely small. And that truck sits up next to the LML as if they're like stock height. It's kind of insane. I had to take some pictures for it to send over to Lime Ridge Automotive as we are actually putting on a joint meet between enthusiast and Lime Ridge because we share the same passion for diesel trucks and because we're all like great friends, practically family at this point in time. August 10th, if you guys have ever been to Lime Ridge Automotive, you know that from the street perspective to the right side of the actual lot itself, there's an open field. Well, that's also their property. And Sam and I have been kind of in cahoots talking about the idea of putting together a local meet that involves all of you guys and of course their awesome customers. But we wanna do it with one major, major stipulation and that is no dumb assery. We're putting together this meet not only to cultivate the diesel community, but also to show the local community that Lime 
Lymergist and located in a Mountry, Pennsylvania, that we can do it respectfully. And I'm being very serious right now when I say we will not put up with any hooning, any rolling coal, any of that BS, because that's my name on the line and Lymergist's name on the line in the local community's eyes. We're not willing to jeopardize any of that because you feel the need to step into the throttle and do something dumb to show off to nobody that's even paying attention. This rather is a meet where we want to all get together collectively to embrace our enthusiasm and our passion for what it is that we all love and work for. We all work to play and basically buy car parts. I mean, admittedly, let's be let's be very honest. So August 10th from 3 to 7 p.m. There will be a Facebook group so that way you guys can attend. If you're looking at attending, please visit that group and hit going instead of interested. Or if you're interested, you can express your interest because if you don't know like what you're doing that day because you don't really plan that way. Kind of like me, but don't, don't tell my wife that. Then okay, I get it, no problem. But there will be a DJ there, there will be food trucks there, and it's free of entry. There's no admission fee. We just want y'all to come out and have a great time because at the end of the day, we get to do truck stuff all of the time together and we want to bring that opportunity to you guys to kind of share it as a whole. August 10th, mark your calendars. Be prepared to not be a dumbass. And I'm really sorry to everybody else in the audience that comes out and actually shows their utmost respect to not only the community, but also the organization that's putting these things on. It's just those one or two people that come out that always have to ruin it for everybody. And that bothers me, especially as somebody that likes to maintain a positive image and repertoire in the local community. Don't do that. It's not worth it. Okay, I'm ranting. I'm sorry. I love you guys, but still like, come on, just be respectful. Thank you all for listening to my rant. If you guys want to grab yourself one of the limited patch hats or the limited inverse t-shirt, which is right here that I'm not wearing right now because it's way too hot out, go ahead and do so. All that information can be found enthusiast first link in the description below. Just imagine being able to tell your friends, yeah, I grabbed a hat online and I ended up winning a 2015 Chevy Duramax that's fully loaded with 14 wide and an aftermarket turbo and train horns and all that other fun stuff that comes along with it. And if you're here for 2020 content, tap that subscribe button, boys. We got we got some great stuff coming. Anyway, my likely gonna love you guys. Do you the best tap that subscribe button on your way out and i'm gonna see you in the sun and in the next upload and in the, 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 and in the next upload ah nice third time's a charm is that the second time i don't know whatever it counts anyway all right we're good